This video in combination with the separate SDRC to RSS initial settings sheets for your particular SDR receiver will demonstrate the SDR console program. The SDRC to RSS interface program. And the Radio Sky Spectrograph software version 2.9.59. Use the video pause and other controls to stop the video for a detailed study. SDR console is the first program you want to start. Make sure your SDR receiver is attached to a USB port. Click on the SDR console icon. Wait for the program to load. Click on definitions. Click the search button. Select SDR Play. Version 2 since we are using an RSP1A in this demonstration. For an RSPDX or RSP Duo use version 3. Click on Add the version 2 definition. Click on SDR Play. RSP1A. Click on Save. In the Select Radio window click on SDR Play RSP1A. Select a bandwidth of 8 MHz. Click Start. Place the SDR console window toward the bottom of your screen. At the bottom of the window. Set the left side of the gray slider to 16 MHz. Then set the right hand side to 24 MHz. Open the view menu. Go to the far right hand end and make sure the data repeater is activated. You only need to do this once as the program will remember your settings. Go to the home menu. Set RF gain to 7. Set IF gain to minus 35 dB manual. Set visual gain to 15 dB. Set LO mode to automatic. If you are using an SDR other than the RSP1A use the settings shown on the appropriate setting sheet in Appendix A for your SDR. On the far right side of the spectrograph set the top red slider to minus 100. Set the blue slider to minus 140. These last two settings only affect the SDR console spectrograph. They do not affect the RSS spectrograph in any way. Next start the SDRC to RSS interface program. This program takes the data from SDR console and repeats it in a form required by Radio Sky Spectrograph. Set the number of channels to 512. Set the FFT window to hamming. Set the dB threshold to minus 150. Set the gain to 1.1. If you are using an SDR other than the RSP1A use the settings shown on the appropriate initial setting sheet for your particular SDR. Click on connect. Click on connect again in the next window. Click in the RSS box to check mark it. Place this window on the upper left hand side of your screen. Next. Open the Radio Sky Spectrograph program. Place the program on the upper right side of your screen. Set the receiver type to RTL bridge slash TCP. Click on the Identity menu. Make sure it is filled out with your information. If not, pause this video and fill in the blanks as well as you can. When completed, click on Apply and Exit. Restart the video if you paused it. In the Options menu. Network. Local Connection. Make sure the LAN IP address is set to 127.0.0.1. Click on OK. In the Options menu, 
file saving. Activate the items shown. Make note of the data directory path as that is where your spectrograph.sps files will be stored. You can change this location as needed. Set program priority to high. Next set the color offset to 1620 and the color gain to 4. These settings may need adjustment for different SDR receivers and other local reasons. Open the color menu tab. It is recommended that you load the AJ4CO color file. The AJ4CO rainbow icon will appear at the bottom right of the spectrograph. Additional RSS videos will detail specific RSS settings such as using a schedule file. Saving and opening a save.sps file and other RSS features. Next. Start RSS. You can either use a schedule file to start RSS or simply click the RSS start button in the upper right corner. Enjoy using the Radio Joe SDRC2 RSS suite of programs. Advanced use and detailed discussions of this combination of software will be discussed in other videos. Feel free to view this video several times. Start and pause the video and go backward as needed to replay settings you might have missed. Thank you for watching.